So you're probably aware of PewDiePie vs. T-Series. It's been one of the biggest things on YouTube over the last few months, okay? Plenty of creators have made videos about it, and it's been huge all across the internet, not just YouTube. A lot of places other than YouTube have joined the fight. And for the most part, that's pretty good, you would say, okay? We kind of need more than just YouTube to kind of care about this situation. It's pretty big when it sets a standard. And it's been pretty huge for some people, uh, obviously PewDiePie. I mean, it's it's been pretty much a huge factor in his career so far, at least for the last few months. But even people like me, I, I care about it. I, I actually do want to see PewDiePie win. I think most of you probably already either knew that or assumed that. At the end of the day, I'm an individual creator on YouTube. I don't want to see some company that basically doesn't have just one guy or one team of people, you know, making content. I don't want to see some company come in and take over the King platform, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to see something like that happen. And I know that there's a lot of other creators out there who feel the exact same way. I would say most independent creators on YouTube don't want to see T-Series win, and I would say a lot of the YouTube audience, especially that isn't really primarily located in India, would also like to see PewDiePie win. Another big reason why people care is this nationalist thing, okay? There's people, like here in America, PewDiePie isn't an American, but we feel like PewDiePie, who isn't an American, going up against India's corporation here, for the number one spot on YouTube is basically the West versus India, okay? So there's a lot of Americans, there's a lot of Europeans and stuff who feel like basically they're taking on the entirety of India, which is also a big factor for people in India who are involved who support T-Series. They want to see an Indian channel be the number one channel on YouTube. Really, this whole thing is about the messages that it sends, okay? It's not really anything other than that. It's some national thing, or it can even be corporation versus individual. Personally, I don't care what country the number one creator's from, as long as it's an individual. Okay, this is YouTube at the end of the day. This is not company too. I want to see individuals, you know, be valued on the platform more than companies, and I think that's how a lot of you are as well. But I think PewDiePie can actually win this. T-Series definitely has a pretty good shot of winning it, especially considering all the factors involved, so it is unlikely that in the long run PewDiePie wins. However, I don't think it's impossible. I think that they're with some factors and with some massive efforts from the YouTube community, PewDiePie can actually win this fight. So to really get an understanding of the fight itself, you have to kind of see what's causing the majority of the growth behind the two channels. When you look at T-Series, it's because it's an India-based music company, okay? India is one of the biggest countries on Earth. It is also, on top of that, rapidly gaining new internet users more than Western nations. Now, this isn't a bad thing necessarily because most Western nations that you think of, like the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, much of Europe, which is where most of PewDiePie's audience most likely lives, have had well over half of their populations using the internet for over a decade now. In the United States, almost 80% of the total population was using the internet in 2011. In nations like the UK, where it was about 81 or 82%, and then of course there's countries like Canada, where the numbers are generally about the same, about 83%. But in 2011, India only had 29% of their population using the internet. And since the country is rapidly developing, and more and more people are getting access to technology in the internet, that means that that number is very quickly rising. And when you consider that the country has over a billion people in it, even if they doubled their population using the internet to about 60%, the amount of people using the internet in India could be anywhere from 600 to 800 million. At least in that ballpark, that's off the top of my head. Which in the United States, 80% of the population of like 330 million obviously is like half of that. This rapid growth in new internet users in a country that's already massive and now are using YouTube means that hundreds of millions of new potential viewers for T-Series are joining the internet, are joining YouTube, are joining basically the fight against PewDiePie. This basically means that as of right now at least, T-Series currently has a seemingly never-ending growth of their primary target demographic joining YouTube. And this doesn't help that T-Series is pretty much going to be promoted throughout India due to this. There's even been rumors going around that if you create a channel on YouTube and you base it from India that you're automatically subscribed to T-Series. I don't know if that's true, I've never tried it for myself, 
But that's been a rumor for a long time, and if that's true, that's automatically going to cause a ridiculous amount of growth for T-Series. However, when you look at PewDiePie, who has seen a pretty impressive growth in his channel, especially since this whole war kind of started a ridiculous surge, he's being propelled primarily by the YouTube and internet communities from Western countries. On top of that, he's also being propelled by people who don't want a corporation being the king of YouTube. And since the all, you know, that automatic demographic really of his fans has kind of already been there for a long time, he doesn't have as many potential new viewers, it seems like, like T-Series has. But he still has plenty in the tank. He still has plenty of people who aren't subscribed to him that he can get on board. I mean, his subscriber count right now is probably only about one-third of all total users in the United States. That doesn't include pretty much all of Europe, Canada, and all these other countries where he has demographics in. And let's be honest, these are the countries that are watching the most PewDiePie. He's an English-speaking YouTuber. He's from the United Kingdom, I believe. Well, he's originally from Sweden, but he moved to the United Kingdom, I think. So he still has all these countries that he can dip into that audience for. But the big thing behind it that's going to really be the problem in getting those people on board is getting his name out there. He, he's not getting promoted like T-Series is. So when you look at the growth behind these two channels, that's an important factor in how PewDiePie is going to end up winning this fight. And a real big step, I think, in getting him to win at least a pretty decent short fight against T-Series, maybe like a year-long, year-and-a-half-long war against T-Series, is you would have to find a way to shorten the duration of the war. PewDiePie likely can't hold T-Series off forever. The longer the fight goes on, the harder it's going to be for PewDiePie to hang on. This is because T-Series is going to keep booming in growth regardless. They, they don't need some campaign behind them to grow. But PewDiePie is totally reliant on support from people strictly against companies ruling YouTube who only care for the moment right now. In six months, when I guess kind of the meme behind it dies for some people, or if something happens, like T-Series takes the lead, or even if they just, it gets prolonged like it is now, where T-Series gets real close to overtaking him, then you get a big boom in subscribers for PewDiePie, and you just rinse and repeat that cycle, people are probably gonna stop caring. I don't think people are gonna be invested in keeping PewDiePie at the top for years, unfortunately. And if that's the case, you're now talking about PewDiePie's number one reason of growth that's keeping him in the fight basically being eroded. But unfortunately, the shorter the fight gets, the harder it is for the YouTube community like Mr. Beast to come up with effective ways to help PewDiePie. So far, he's launched an advertisement campaign in his local area, hackers have infiltrated printers around the world to create pro PewDiePie advertisements, and there's been more crazy things to keep the fight going. But how long can that honestly go on for? Can it go on for five years? Because if not, I just simply don't see any way that PewDiePie can keep living the fight. How many different ways can people do things that are crazy enough to get this amount of attention and this amount of subscribers getting in PewDiePie's pocket? If you condense that fight down and you find a way to make it more current, you're going to have people's focus, and we can work on winning this now instead of having to prolong it for years. T-Series is consistently growing at an increasing rate, at least for now, for like the last basically year. Okay, now it can't really last forever, but if it keeps speeding up even now, eventually they're going to outpace PewDiePie regardless of what we do. So there needs to be more breathing room to help prevent against that. PewDiePie needs a massive surge to help him as soon as possible. One that would put him up millions of subscribers very quickly, and I'm not talking like one or two million. If we found a way to get PewDiePie even 5 million subscribers ahead of T-Series in the next couple weeks, that would be huge. That would prolong any effort really for weeks. If we got him more breathing room, that gives people like Mr. Beast weeks to get this done. That gets them, you know, weeks really to develop a plan. It's hard to really work on a plan and get it done when you're only up like 100,000 subscribers, which is only really enough to keep you ahead for like maybe two and a half days. But right now, PewDiePie is only about 165,000 subscribers ahead of T-Series, which definitely isn't the lowest point in the battle so far. But it's close enough that if T-Series somehow surged their subscriber rates, they'd be able to take PewDiePie out in a matter of days. And right now, PewDiePie is not outpacing them, folks. You can go look. Depending on what time of the day it is, that sub count's gonna grow and shrink. But when it's daytime in India, generally it's nighttime in the West. It's nighttime in England. It's becoming nighttime in the United States. 
things like that. So the subscriber count for PewDiePie isn't going to be growing at the same number, but when it's not growing at the same number for one, the other side is surging. Another huge factor really in this fight is that you have to find a way to keep people interested in the war between the two. Now this is probably going to be the most important step, because if the YouTube community moves on to something else, PewDiePie is pretty much done. The community has to keep standing behind him, and in reality, we have to find more people that can become interested in the war between the two. If we found a way to grow PewDiePie's growth to where he was outpacing T-Series pretty much at all times, not only would it propel him further towards 100 million, which he would be the first creator to do so, but would also widen the sub gap, which would give other YouTubers a chance to plan new videos and tactics to help him while effectively holding T-Series at bay. Like I've said multiple times, people really care because it's symbolic of the shift of YouTube. PewDiePie represents that golden idea of YouTube, which is an individual making something of himself on the platform, while T-Series is just representing the corporatization overlord platform that we see today. It's a fight against good and evil, but at this current rate, February 4th is pretty much the, the current deadline to make another massive push for the YouTube community. If we don't get another push for PewDiePie, T-Series will likely overtake him by this time. Basically, we've got four, maybe three days. Once this happens, I'm concerned that people will completely give up on the fight because they think it's over right there. People keep talking about a Super Bowl advertisement telling folks to subscribe to PewDiePie. Now, I'm not going to rule it out because, I mean, it could happen technically, but they cost millions, just for a really short ad space. In 2019 Super Bowl, which by the way is in just a couple days, it'll be estimated to be $5 million dollars for 30 seconds of ad space. But if the internet somehow raised that money, I, I don't know how we would do it in like two days to buy out the ad spot, put together an ad for it, and we had it live at the Super Bowl, PewDiePie would effectively have been promoted to over 100 million people on live television in the target areas of his growth in the Western culture. Considering if the Super Bowl has an average or higher viewership, which is generally a little bit higher than 100 million. That could be huge in pushing the fight forward, but I simply don't see that ad happening since time is pretty much spare, and unless someone's willing to dish 5 million out to save PewDiePie, just don't see it happening. And this one is also crucial. Will people give up if T-Series overtakes PewDiePie? The conditions for victory aren't completely set in stone. I mean, if he were overtaken for a day, but surged back and magically got a 20 million sub lead, would people consider T-Series the victor? I, I don't think so. Therefore, you'd have to find a way to prevent people from giving up the moment T-Series looks to have won the fight. If T-Series actually pulls the lead in their favor, some people are going to give up and stop caring. That's just the truth. The meme of it is going to be dead to them and they're going to figure that they don't need to try anymore and that it's over for good. But we need the YouTube community and other internet communities to not give up if that's what we want not to happen. I really do want PewDiePie to win. I'm an independent creator. I know firsthand what it's like to have these companies pushing the platform around. I don't want that to happen again. If T-Series takes the lead, it's going to be even harder to push things back out of their favor, which is why we need to make sure that they don't get a lead if we can prevent it using the steps I've listed. If you're not already subscribed to PewDiePie, why aren't you, okay? Save the internet, save YouTube as a platform, okay? Subscribe to PewDiePie. Share this video, okay? Get this plan out there and let's get it in action so we can actually do this. We might not win in five years, but if we get things done now, hopefully we won't have to worry about five years down the road. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure as always to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at sub to optimus I post memes, thoughts, and updates updates over there. Join the Discord down below. Lots of cool things going on there. Thank you, as always, to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps an independent creator like myself do very well. Helps me create content, things like that, so you won't see that happening with T-Series. You won't see that personalized thank you. If you'd like to become a channel member for only $5 a month and help support future content, you can do so with the join button down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, fighting T-Series, and signing out.